Guys, I bought someone's entire Pokemon card collection from their childhood, and obviously there is going to be some modern cards within the collection, but we bought it, and we're going to be opening it up in today's video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what kind of score did we get. What's good everybody, Dark Wolf here, back at it again with another video, and in today's video, we got a collection video. A friend of mine doesn't really collect Pokemon cards that much anymore, and they wanted to get rid of their collection, and I offered to buy it, and I bought their collection for a total of $70, ladies and gentlemen, so we're basically going to open up this collection and see if it was worth our money, and I obviously know that it is worth the $70. I did look at a couple pictures, but I didn't look at it all because I want it to be a surprise, you feel me? I want to see a huge smile on my face while we check out this collection. So guys, the box is obviously not going to fit on the setup, so let me show y'all how big the box is. Alrighty guys, check it out. This is the box the collection is in. Now, it might look like a small box, but it is extremely heavy, my guy. Like, this weighs a ton, literally. But guys, I took out the first item that's inside the box, and it looks like it is a Ho-Oh tin with some cards within. Now, the homie did tell me that he did include it some extra, so shouts out to David. That's my guy, you feel me? That is one of the boys but guys we're gonna go ahead and see what's inside this collection so if you guys are excited for today's video make sure you guys smash that like button right now and if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe and join the ghoul army and welcome and if you guys leave a comment down below with the hashtag ghoul army you could be featured in a video like the individuals that you see on the screen but guys we're not going to waste too much time we are going to be using the star of the show because i want to put the rarest card from this collection on this card stand if it's possible if there's way too many like extremely rare cards then we might have to discard the star of the show but for now we're gonna go ahead and leave it in the corner so let's go ahead and check out this tin it looks like it's in bubble wrap let's see what's going down guys let's see what's going down i'm excited bro i love doing these collection videos and if you guys like them as well let me know in the comments down below but guys Let's see. This does kind of look like it's bulk, but we'll see exactly what kind of cards are inside here. So it looks like we got a code for the Ghoul Army. And if you guys want more code cards, follow your boy on social medias. But let's see what else are we working with, guys. Let's see what else. I had to check if I was recording because in a previous video, I forgot to record the face cam for the first half of the video. So that was no bueno, you feel me? So let's check it out, guys. It does look like... This is bulk. Is there plasma bulk? No, it's just cards facing the other way. So check it out, guys. We got code cards, and we got a bunch of bulk cards. We're not going to take too long on the bulk cards because, one, it's bulk, bro. You don't really care about the bulk. So here is the code cards. I do see some sleeved cards in here. Okay, we got a holographic energy, so let me go ahead and just pull out the sleeve cards. We got a holographic Zygarde. What's this one? We got a holographic Vicavolt. Now, keep in mind, guys, I paid $70 for this collection. Remember that number and let me know if this purchase was worth it or if it was a bad buy. But let's go ahead and just run through all of these cards. Like I said, if you guys want code cards, follow your boy on the social media so here's another one right there okay yeah this is like a bunch of bulk reverse cards so we're not going to take too much time on these cards right here let's just go ahead and put this tin somewhere else because it's literally just bulk so let's go ahead and move on to the next item all right guys this is the final item that's inside the box and it was a box inside of a box how cool is that so let's go ahead and see what we got man 100 satisfaction guaranteed that this collection oh that is low did everybody 
Hold up, let me take out this Rayquaza tin. We're gonna go one at a time because this is overwhelming right now. All right, guys, here is the next tin and it kind of looks like it's bulk. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Check that out. We got some cereal box promo cards of Sun and Moon and it is legit sealed. Ladies and gentlemen, like this pack right here, it is 100% sealed. So we're not going to open that up. We're going to go ahead and put that as the star of the show because it's a rare promo pack. You feel me? So it deserves some kind of spotlight. And looks like we got some Dollar Tree packs. Check that out. We got Furious Fist, Evolutions, and Craps Collide. Should I open these or should I keep it sealed? Let's full send it, man. Let's full send it and let's open up these Dollar Tree packs, everybody. Furious Fist, or not Furious Fist, this is Craps Collide, we got nothing. Evolutions, let's see man, let's see, can we get a Holographic or Reverse Charizard? We got a Reverse Switch, let's go ahead, full send it and open up the Furious Fist as well. It looks like we got nothing, I guess I should have kept those sealed, but it's all good guys, the damage has been done. Now for the rest of these cards, I believe they are bulk, we got some code cards, obviously but for the most part i believe it's bulk so check this out guys it's literally bulk a ton of bulk guys so not only are we getting sealed promo cards and i'm pretty sure there's going to be ultra rares we are also getting bulk which i didn't even ask for so the homie obviously inserted the bulk for free which is absolutely amazing man you did not have to do that so yeah this is all definitely just bulk right here so let me go ahead and put all of this back in the tin and let's check out that second ho-oh tin all right guys we have the second tin and check this out it's a ho-oh tin with a victini lid bro that's absolutely amazing when i opened up this victini tin it was so fun I love all of the sets that are inside this Victini tin, but let's check it out, guys. It looks like we still got the Ho-Oh GX inside of this tin, so check that out, man. Here is a code card for that Ho-Oh. That is a beautiful promo card, my guy. Absolutely beautiful. Let's check out if these cards are just bulk as well, and I'm pretty sure they're just going to be bulk. So here is another code card. For sun and moon and let's check it out Ooh, we got an older code card right there i believe that's dragons exalted if i'm not mistaken so yep it looks like this is all just pure bulk and you guys are probably wondering where are the ultra rares dark ghoul they're coming guys they are coming we got some holographics within the bulk so that's always nice to see we got some legendary collection stuff or not legendary collection i'm tripping that's vintage bro i meant to say radiant collection you feel me so we got some of that cool stuff right there and we just got a ton of bulk like i said there is some holographics within the bulk itself and then we got a sealed pack of energies right here man so that's actually pretty pretty dope but guys, these tins, it looks like they are loaded with straight bulk. But we still got a couple more items, so let's see what else are we working with. Alrighty guys, the next item that we got, it looks like it's a Breakthrough theme deck. Yeah, this is the Neuvern theme deck for Breakthrough, so we're going to go ahead and leave that there. I'm probably just going to give this away to one of the members of the Ghoul Army in a future giveaway. And let's see, we got another pack of energies, and then in here... What is this? Is this all holographics, bro? Hold up. Don't tell me these are all holographics, my guy. Okay, we got full reverses, holographics, promo cards, you name it. You feel me? And then there is some more bulk. So check that out. I believe this is sword and shield bulk. Yeah, this is definitely sword and shield packs that the homie opened up. And let's see, man. Ooh. We got a Pokemon Rumble holographic right there, man. Check that out. That is beautiful, man. That is beautiful. And I don't have any sleeves near me. I have no idea why. But we're definitely going to put this Pikachu as the star of the show because that is a rare card, man. You do not see these Pokemon Rumble cards anymore literally and if you were to buy a box of pokemon rumble i believe it'll run you at nearly a hundred dollars 
and you don't even get all of the promos in that box you feel me so guys there is one final item in this collection and it is a binder so let's see what's inside it all right guys we got ourselves a halucha binder from furious fist and we're gonna remove the star of the show for this because it's a binder bro obviously there's gonna be a ton of heat inside this binder so we're gonna go ahead and put this pikachu to the side that is an amazing card do not get me wrong but guys let's see what's inside this halucha binder this is basically what i paid for for the $70, you feel me? And then everything else was a bonus. So let's check it out, man. We got ourselves page number one. We already got some rainbow rare action. We got ourselves a Turtonator GX, a couple of EX cards from Furious Fist, and then I believe this is from the Flygon box. So four ultra rares. Keep that in mind. I paid $70. We got four ultra rares already, including a secret rare. So let's see, next page, man. We got an Ordinary Rod, and we got a First Edition Lapras. Greninja Break, Full Art, Professor Sycamore. But look at that Ordinary Rod, man. That is a beautiful Secret Rare, man. I absolutely love the Sword and Shield Secret Rares. So let's see what else we got, guys. Let's see what else are we working with. We got ourselves a Zapdos Old School Promo Card. Followed by an unknown old school promo card. Fool our baby girl of Bridget. And then we got a Snorlax promo card from the Snorlax box. But guys, that is not it because it's this entire binder. Let's see what else are we working with, man. We got ourselves Fool Arts on Fool Arts on Fool Arts. Oh my god. I love this Zapdos, bro absolutely love the artwork on that zapdos i believe that was from generations correct me if i'm wrong but it looks like we got a tapu coco gx card on the top right corner right there let's turn the page man we got a secret rare tapu bulu full art sylveon ex we got a holographic psychic energy sylveon gx right there on the bottom right corner Let's keep it going, man. We got a holographic vintage Eevee, man. Beautiful Dialga G. Shaman level X, bro. And then we got full art Lily. The thing that I like about this collection so far, it has vintage. It has semi-vintage. It has modern cards. It literally has the whole package. And that is why it's a childhood collection. You feel me? And I absolutely love it man so let's keep it rolling let's keep it rolling man we got some generic ex gx cards another sylveon right there but you can never have too many evolutions and that's a fact you feel me so let's go ahead and turn the page Ooh, that's from shining legends we got a shining rayquaza easily worth around 20 plus dollars you feel me i'll put the exact value of this rayquaza on the screen but guys look at this mewtwo bro we got a secret rare mewtwo gx from shining legends bro and i'm pretty sure this mewtwo is worth double of what this rayquaza is so i'll put the mewtwo value on the screen as well because i'm honestly curious myself on how much this mewtwo is worth because i've pulled a decent amount of these mewtwo so it would be pretty cool to see if it's worth a ton. So guys, these two cards right here already made this purchase worth it. 100%. So let's see, man. We're getting to the end of the binder. It looks like these cards are facing the other way. We got a Secret Rare Lapras and we got a Jolteon EX. Unfortunate these two sleeves are empty, but it's all good, man. I am not tripping. And this right here is the final page, everybody of this binder let's see what it is man three two and one it is Ooh, we got a secret rare sylveon gx full art umbreon glaceon and then we got the victini promo card from the victini tin you know what i noticed guys in every single collection video we have been doing we have been pulling 
a Leafeon Secret Rare in every collection. I don't know what it is, but it looks like every single person owns this Leafeon GX and I don't. Now, well, obviously I own it now, but before I was doing these collection videos, I've never pulled this Leafeon. But guys, this binder right here, it was loaded with some amazing Pokemon cards. And on top of this binder collection right here, we got a ton of bulk holographics, promo cards, sealed products like the energies and whatnot, and then we got the binder. So in your opinion, was this collection worth it for $70? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure once you see the Rayquaza Mewtwo price, you're gonna say yes. But guys, I definitely think this collection was worth it 100%, and it was from one of my friends that was recently getting out of Pokemon, which is unfortunate, but I understand it's an expensive hobby, and I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video knows it, you feel me? So without further ado, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you did, and without further ado, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.